Hi, welcome to Fully Logic. Uh, what we're going to look at today is something slightly different. Uh, we're, we're moving into spring, so obviously there will be more people out on their bikes. And one of the common things we see, which puts a lot of extra stress onto the back, uh, is people having their bikes set up wrong. And I'm only going to look at one area today, because it's a complex uh, uh, area and, and thing to get right. Um, so I've got my seat in a good position and uh, I've got the seat about the right height, I've got my foot in a neutral position, my knee's got a reasonable bend. Uh, so what I'm going to look at uh, today is just in this good position, a nice way to check and if you've got access to a turbo it's a really good way to sort of see where you're at. But if you're here, you should be able to come up and most of your weight should be through uh, your, your bum and through your feet. So you should be able to sit up on the bike quite comfortably and then come back down and hold that position and then place your hands. So my hands can come on and off together relatively easily and I can keep cycling at my same pace as I'm going along. So that's what it should look like and it's a really nice easy way to check. Is your bike set seat in the right place? Is it too far back for you? And I'm going to show you what that looks like and how that's different in just a second. Right, so I've, I've put the seat uh, a lot further back and, and the reason I bring this up is because there are a couple of areas that could load and if you're starting to cycle more, you're cycling to work or you're starting to do some weekend rides, you might be experiencing some problems and this might be one part of the solution and two, obviously, we can start to, to look at helping uh, resolve the issues. But things you'll start to notice, if the seat's too far back, you've got to reach that much further. So you're going to put a lot more pressure into your low back, you're going to stretch that area and if you're out on a longer ride, it's going to fatigue more quickly and you're going to get some back pain. So if you struggle, you feel like you're wanting to stretch back, this could be part of the problem. The other thing you're going to get is a lot more load into your knee. Not that it necessarily is, is to your detriment, but you can see my knee is well behind where my foot is pushing through the pedal. Um, so I am going to load a lot more into my kneecap and I'm going to put a lot more load into the lateral part of my leg. So again, if you're getting lateral knee pain, uh, anterior knee pain, this might be something to look at. Now, as again, if I'm here cycling, you'll see that I'll be having to move quite a lot more to get through the pedal because to get the power, I'm going to want to shift to get my hip over the knee to get the power on the bike. But then the next thing, as I'm here, coming back up to sitting, I now, I now fall forwards and it's a lot harder work to get up. And if I come back down, I can't hold it. I've got to drop onto the seat and I can feel I'm putting a lot more, or there's a lot more movement through my hips and back to be in this position. So if you've got access to, to a turbo, have a look at home and see if you feel you can take your hands off hold them above, put them back on the bar easily um, without any extra stress or effort um, to do that. And also if you're noticing any back knee pain, then maybe that's something else to look at. Uh, and then otherwise we're here to help.